My name is Paul Goldsman. I am one of the guidance counselors at the Queens High School of Teaching, and I'm also the coordinator of the Habitat for Humanity Club in the Fur community. My name is Vernon Jerome, and I'm going as dean of the Fur community. My name is Miss Dean, and I'm chaperone for the 2012 Habitat for Humanity trip to New Orleans, Louisiana. My name is Camille Gardner, and I'm the assistant principal of the Frere Small Learning Community. My name is Ian Hart. Alexa Francis. I'm Alfredo Castro. Thompson Punk. She's Dion Matthews. Ahmed Hussain. Evan Rosenberg. Della Simon. John Buse. Mark Shea. Jasmine Hernandez. Jessica C. Datoy. Tishona Taff. Bo Gennetti. Shannon Foley. Nicholas Timothy. Kuba Patel. Alexander Kupalithis. Andrew Alicock. And James Murphy. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people say. I'm gonna build a house today. I'm gonna build a house today. We're gonna be staying in Louisiana for six nights and seven days. Uh, our students will be working for four long days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A typical day in Louisiana during Have Done Humanity Trip is going to be waking up really early in the morning, um, getting ready, putting on sweatpants, t-shirts, hoodies, work shoes, gloves, uh, boots, um, eating a quick breakfast, hopping on a bus, and going to one of the locations. Habitat for Humanity is a worldwide organization uh, which basically allows people to build homes uh, for those that need them. People that want houses or homes through Habitat for Humanity have to do what's called sweat equity. And what that means is they must do volunteer work with Habitat for Humanity on someone else's house so that when they want their own house, they've already performed the service um, of doing it for someone else. It all emanated from the flood of almost five years ago. Louisiana is under sea level, beneath sea level, and as such when the storm came on, it flooded the bowl. It flooded the, the, uh, the ninth ward, and as such, people had to be on their rooftops in order to save their lives. Hi, I'm Durant Quinn. Welcome to New Orleans. I'm here to answer any questions you have, give you a little insight about my experience with um, Hurricane Katrina. It was pretty rough, terrible experience. We were able to take, um, like, maybe changing clothes for two days, some food, and we returned home. Um, half of the house was damaged due to a large oak tree in the backyard that smashed through the kitchen, my kids' room, and the bathroom. So if we would have stayed, I don't know if it would have been tragic. But we moved to Texas after that to get um, some better assistance. The assistance was like more speed, <clears throat> more better in um, Texas. So we stayed there, got an apartment. But I came back to New Orleans to help help out and rebuild. Just the lives lost. It was from young to old. Medications were not available. Just like your basic needs in life were not available to them when needed. Billions of damages were rendered. Thousands of people were displaced. About 1,700 people lost their lives. Over f several hundred thousand animals were lost. Um, and the problem is a lot of those people still don't have homes, affordable homes and safe homes. It was more tragic than I thought it was. They knew it was coming, but they didn't have anywhere to go, so they had to stay where they were until the hurricane came. Seeing people like, with their houses just being empty shells, with nothing in them, all their memories from their past just erased. There used to be full homes like we live in, and now there's nothing there. There's just the foundation of the home. The city is still in ruins. There's still areas that haven't been fixed yet, um, and they still need a lot of assistance, so that's what we're going to do. Well, we're about less than an hour away uh, before we board the plane. Everything went smoothly. The kids were on time. They're excited. I'm excited. And I guess uh, we're about to get on the plane and, and we're all fired up to go. Pumped. Eccentric. Excited. Excited. Wonderful. Enthusiastic. Yay. Tired. Awesome. She's excited. I feel excited. <laughs> excited. 
funny, excited. I'm feeling pretty lucky. <laughs> Bored. Nervous. Pretty relaxed. When we got off the plane, there were no, um, there were no buildings at all. There were, um, very, there were no lights too at that this part when we were driving in the cheese bus to our church. Um, there were no lights at all. Day one, we're starting off at the ReStore, and we're going to be engaging in our morning circle, and then on to our first uh, first house. I am so tired already. We're ready to work. Yeah. I'm Monica Bell. I'm the volunteer services coordinator for Habitat for Humanity, St. Tammany West. Um, I've been here since October, and um, my job is to pretty much make sure that all of my volunteers are okay, safe. Um, we have a lot of jobs that are going on as far as um, our construction jobs, so we have to make sure that we have enough volunteers to fill the bill site so we can get work done. And so far so good. We've been very successful. Um, we have closed on 205 homes in our 30 years. So we're moving, we're moving along very well. And we just try to keep as many volunteers out here that are willing and that are dedicated. And luckily we, we have those. And um, it's a blessing. So thank you guys for coming out. And we hope to see you again. All right, my name's Craig. I'm the construction supervisor on the site. Get ready for insulation that's going to go in tomorrow. As far as uh, putting some straps in, uh, putting the ceiling in the AC closet. Uh, Sealing the windows and the walls and all the holes in the house. And uh, as far as the rest of the week goes, what we're going to be doing is trying to finish the floor in the other house. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's going to probably take us the rest of the week. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm an AmeriCorps construction crew leader. I'm from Columbia, Maryland. I'm down here in Louisiana helping Habitat for Humanity build houses for families who are in need of them. Uh, currently, we are working on putting in a new subfloor and fixing up the whole house for them. And we're also working on the house next door, trying to get that ready, which should be ready in a couple months. And yeah, we're just trying to you know, give a good home to people who need them. I'm Brendan Murphy. I'm a construction supervisor with Habitat for Humanity. And so far this week, we have crowned the dirt on the entire property. We have uh, installed termite shields on all of the stack block piers. We have caulked those termite shields, and we are almost finished with putting the 6x6 six six sill uh, going all the way around the house. And by the end of the week, we should finish all of the floor framing and may get started on uh, decking the floor as well. I was in group A. In the first day, we actually started building a house. Like, we had, like there was absolutely nothing. What we had to do was basically put, like, level out the dirt that was there and we actually had to start cutting out pieces for the foundation. We also had to take out pieces of the structures that was already previously there. And we even had to start, we even had to take out a sledgehammer and start destroying rocks because it got in the way. We pretty much did most of it in one day. Going on to the work site right now, we're on the bus. I'm actually not going to work because due to my concussion, I'm going to the ReStore. My name is Joey Maddox. I work at the Habitat for Humanity St. Tammany West Restore. Our mission as Habitat is to build affordable housing for lower income families or families that can't afford housing on their own. Uh, we've been open for approximately five years. The store's been here approximately five years. I've been here for approximately five years. Um, and the, the things we do for the community are great. I'm a homeowner. Um, I have five children, a wife, four bedroom house, and if it wasn't for Habitat, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Um, well, when I came to the house, I didn't imagine it would look like this. I thought it would just be like foundation and, you know. As soon as we got in, there was no floor. So I'm thinking there's a lot of work that needs to be done. We uh, took out the bathtub. We took out the paneling from the bathtub and we took out the insulation and we had to walk around on wooden planks. So we were told that we had to put the floors in 
So right now I'm cutting up the wood and then we're gonna use that to make the floors. We were on joists the whole time and then when we left we had a lot more floor than we did. And I'm not sore yet. <laughs> Still got a whole week to go. As you can see, the weather has uh, kind of affected things. We're not able to work this morning because of all this. So we're just going to wait inside for a while and uh, hopefully uh, the rain passes. We started two hours later because of the rain. But like uh, in the end, um, we managed to, me and Alex managed to cut and build um, the air conditioning unit. Well, he used most of the power tools that I just gave him most of the supplies. And uh, we built this, um, I think, air conditioner unit. And um, it took uh, like, for the um, four hours we worked today, or uh, four or five hours we worked today, we were just, you know, sit there exhausted you know, and just, you know, be happy about, um, like, about the tremendous achievement we achieved. So overall today was a pretty good day. Um, even though I hurt myself, I was still laughing about it. I got my finger wrapped up. I got an infection called cellulitis. Uh, it happened from yesterday and it grew and got worse and really nasty and I had to go to the doctor, which was pretty bad. And after that, right when I was coming back, uh, James got hurt and James got a nail in his foot so I got to work maybe a couple hours and then I had to go and get this taken care of and we got a lot done we organized a, a, a shed and we just got a lot of work done even though we got a lot of injured people today we actually went to a warehouse and actually cleaned up because today there was because it started raining so we and we're not allowed to work on a wet site so we fix up on the warehouse. We had to actually destroy those structures and like take out the planks and the nails and stuff just like the day before. All right, we're on day four of our trip and day three of hard work. And as you can see by some of the kids sleeping here, uh, they're a little tired from everything that we've done, but we're gonna be fired up and we're gonna continue to work hard. Right guys? Yeah. I'm helping out the family, Adam's family, and basically what we're doing is I cut down the woods to make a perimeter, and then I nail down those to combine them. Well, I feel really good right now. Last night I had really no sleep, but feeling much better. I'm a little sick, but oh well, the work has to go on, so I'm good. All right. Well, um, this wood, there, Muhammad's getting the measurements right now, so we can cut them and then put them on the borders. This is gonna be the first floor of the house, so this is just the base right now. All right. We were supposed to cut the wood off so that we have the perfect dimensions for um, the base, but we kind of like a little bit messed up. Our look is a bit a bit longer, so we have to cut it a bit more with the power tool. Moved a lot of wood, dug a lot of dirt. That's about it. 945 high five break. Alright, so yeah, it was, a, it was a decent week. We got some things done. Uh, floor is almost finished. That we've uh, been working on for three weeks. Yeah, so we're done now. Happy that it's almost done. The week was a pleasure. Uh, we got done way more than I expected. We finished the entire uh, uh, framing of the floor, and I just didn't think we were gonna get that far. And they were, everyone was awesome. Uh, and it was just a great week in general. And it's too bad we had a few injuries, but everyone bounced back from it. And uh, and look where we're at. So uh, yeah, thanks for a great week.